Tonight, families of a pre-K program in West Warwick learning this evening why an employee had to be escorted off the property and placed on leave. I'm Mike Montecalvo. And I'm Shannon Heggie. According to the superintendent at Maisie Quinn Elementary, the employee is accused of behaving inappropriately toward a student. 12 News reporter Sheena Loshuto spoke to a parent who was at tonight's meeting. And Sheena, she's actually hesitant about sending her child back to school tomorrow. A lot of parents are feeling uneasy here in West Warwick tonight. This meeting was only open to parents of preschoolers here at Maisie Quinn, and one mother says she left with more questions than answers. We got minimal answers as to what happened, but not anything probably more than you guys know. Yvonne Swindle says she's one of about 25 parents desperate for answers Tuesday, going to the Maisie E. Quinn school for a meeting about a staff member's alleged inappropriate behavior toward a student there. Did the situation impact her daughter? That's what she's trying to find out. So these are um, special needs kids, so she doesn't talk. She we're just in a hard place. Our cameras were not allowed inside and 12 News was asked to stay off the public school system's property during the meeting. Swindle says the meeting didn't shed much more light on what exactly happened or who it involves. Us parents are just kind of sitting here with our hands up. We know something happened, but we don't really know a lot of the specifics. The principal seemed really genuine and sincere. He seemed like he knew that we were going through a lot. Telling us the one and a half hour meeting included parents getting into heated conversations with the superintendent. Give us a little bit more answers. Uh, like, honestly, just who it was would be a a big help for us so we could know if our kid was with this person. In a letter sent to the West Warwick school community, the superintendent says police are involved in an investigation and those findings will be shared with her and the West Warwick school committee. The letter states the allegations were brought forward last week, though it didn't specify what the allegations are. Don't really feel comfortable sending my kid to school tomorrow, especially with them. The school not wanting to talk more about what's going on. Now there is a West Warwick School Committee meeting tomorrow night, but it didn't look like this specific topic was going to be openly discussed there. Then there's a second informational meeting like the one we saw here tonight. That one will be on Thursday at the high school. Reporting live in West Warwick tonight, I'm Sheena Loshudo, 12 News.